Okay, so we just got home. We went to dinner. I just put Georgia to bed and we also went to Michael's tonight and Gre there was this big yarn. Greg was like, we should make a knit blanket. We should knit one with the big yarn. You do it with your arms. So we bought five balls of yarn and we are going to knit a blanket. And I'll show you guys the yarn really quick. Okay, this is it. It's the big fluffy yarn and we're gonna make the coziest blanket. And we're in our jammies and we're each having a glass of wine. Oh, do I need my own ball? No. We're gonna share that one. So we, we it's one at a time. Okay. Put those over here. Should we have this looking down so they can see what we're doing? Oh yeah, I thought you were gonna hold it up. I don't know. I thought I was gonna do it up here. Just loosen, loosen this. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's perfect. Is this okay? Okay. So. How long is this gonna take, you think? <laughs> no, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what the YouTube video showed. That I took a peek at in yeah. Michael's. It's it's unfortunate that I knew how to do this. So well, you, you, you tell me you just did you did a little loop de loop. Yeah, so you tie a little knot on the end. Just like a regular knot. Yeah, like a, like a half inch. Yeah. Yeah. So then you come here. You're just gonna flip these two. You're gonna twist it over. Okay. So you have make yourself a, a loop. little loop, and then you're gonna take your tag end. And this is where it's going to start, so about mm, three fingers, I suppose. Okay. Come through, make another loop, come oh, through. Oh, you have to, and you hold on to... Make another loop, about three fingers wide. So how many loops am I at? Three? Yeah. How many long do you have to go? Well, let's start at 40 and go from there. Okay. Four. Five. It's easier if I hold this up. Six. How do you seven. connect them? Oh, like tie them together? Hmm? Yeah, pretty much. Eight. Nine. So either way, this is gonna be the width. Okay. So you can we can kind of eyeball it really. Right. This needs to stay open. Okay. Tight. So basically, your back line should look like that. It should be flat. Okay. So this one I know is correct. Bringing it back over, it should be this one. So that loops on. Hold on. Move your hand. Yeah, so show them how you loop. So. Like just because you, we probably didn't explain this mm -hmm. as much in the beginning. So you have all of your loops yeah. in general. So instead of coming like and just grabbing it and having to pull through, bring, grab a portion of it over here to make your loop and then come through. And make it a lot easier as you go through. Helps keep the knots even. Then, and then we'll show them at the end too. Yeah. So you also want to make sure that these are even like that. This shouldn't be twisted over and like not that. Right. You want to keep even. them straight. Yeah. And then your last one. You're gonna come through that. 
but you're going to leave your first loop. All, all, yeah, leave, leave your last your loop, loop hanging every and time you come, come to an end. To this underneath of it and go to the second one. Because that's your loop that you connect, like connect all yeah. of the edges. So that's so you can see it like along it's got here. Like a nice chain to it. Yeah. So always leave your last loop of a row empty until you do the row that comes after it. Yep. Okay. Greg, you have you are doing such a good job. Thank you. It is looking so good. We have three balls of yarn left. So we're one? Of one ball of yarn. Of one ball of yarn. You're just gonna do a square knot, which is over the top. Then the opposite. Tie it off through the loop. It's just a real simple so square knot. Basically tie them together. Correct. And then you just kind of continue through and at the end we'll hide all that okay. stuff. Yes. come to the end of our blanket and it actually didn't really take that long. Not really, but I think I know how to do the end. We're going to find out. Okay. So I think what you do is you take two of them at a time mm -hmm. and then your tag end comes through and you have that one and the next one. Oh, and, and so you take that. Through. So take your next loop. And then, this is getting really long. So this loop, to this loop, to this one coming through. This loop, to this loop. So you take this the loop you just made and a loop. new loop and then mm -hmm. pull the... Then make another loop and come in it. Make another loop. Loop, loop. Come in with your tag. Loop, loop. Tag. Loop, loop. Tag. Loop, loop. Tag. Loop, loop. Tag, loop, loop, tag, loop, loop, tag. And then you're going to weave it back in here. And tie it off. You did you just weave it however? Mm. That's how I kind of just did it. Yeah. Um, I'm still kind of figuring it Well, just so it that they know. Yeah. You just kind of weave it wherever in there and then just tie a knot to tie this off and get that piece out of there. It's very pretty. It's really just, you know, for show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, our blanket is finished. Yeah, so It the, actually didn't take that long. It didn't, and for the first round, you know, we learned a lot of good lessons. I think next time I would use uh, thicker yarn. Yeah, and maybe not like puffy yarn. Cause like that seemed to be really hard to like I don't know like keep consistent loops with and, like, yeah it just seems like like I maybe feel like this has too much um stretch in it yeah if you let it like carry its own weight it's, it really stretches out yeah but that being said you wrap it up or you wrap it on top it's of a very good decorative piece like if you just want it for decoration I feel like this is good to go with because it's really pretty it's also very large I mean it's, yeah it's long 
Yeah. It'll cover me head to toe. Yes. It's just like... A bit soft. Good job. That was fun. You are a very good beer. It was a good, it was a good take. <laughs> it was. And a couple glasses I, of wine. Yes. And I found out that Greg is a very, very good knitter. A very good knitter. Yeah. I don't know that this is... It's, what would... I mean... Is it knitting or is this braiding at this point? Because we didn't I would like definitely knitting. consider this knitting. I mean, the good news is we got our edges correct. I mean, yeah. so all of that No, was we right. did a very good job. I think that just next time, maybe different yarn. Yeah. Like, if we give this another go, I would want something with, like, less stretch. Um, and, like you said, like, not so fluffy. Like, maybe, like, just... I don't know, but I like how soft this is. Like when I imagine like thicker yarn that doesn't, that isn't fluffy, like I would worry that it would make well, it be itchy. Well, I wonder if there isn't different braids to like get it or knitting technique. I don't know. Like whatever. A, a new, a different casting technique. Yeah. I think that's what it's called in knitting. To um, make it tighter than it yeah. is. Yeah. We could try that next cool. time too. Yeah. Let's try some else. Yeah. But good job. Good job. You did most of the work. We did get a good system at the end, though. We did. We used teamwork. Yes. Well, thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you guys liked it. Let us know if you try and knit your own blanket. We would love um, to see your own creations. Um, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and actually turn on your little bell notifications so that you can be notified when we post new videos. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.